previous Clinton assistant John Podesta was so instrumental in handling the Uranium One arrangement in 2010 he was paid $35 million from Russia the next year. Not exclusively did Clinton and Podesta take cash from the Russians, Podesta was working with Manafort in Ukraine amid Euromaidan, a vocation that later gets Manafort surveilled by Obama. Podesta doesn't get stuck in an unfortunate situation and goes ahead to work for the White House. CommonSenseEvaluation.com reports, what an exceptionally comfortable gathering of cohorts they have, deceiving Americans for cash with supreme exemption. It's practically similar to the Clintons, Podesta, Mueller, Comey, Obama, McCain and others. All work for Russia. Intriguing Manafort Podesta Obama Timeline Podesta gets his $35 million payout from Russia in January 2011. The uranium bargain he expedited was 2010. Not exclusively did Clinton and Podesta take cash from the Russians, Podesta was working with Manafort in Ukraine amid Euromaidan, a vocation that later gets Manafort surveilled by Obama and into inconvenience. Podesta doesn't get stuck in an unfortunate situation and goes ahead to work for the White House. This appears like aggregate strategic maneuvers to just utilize insight when expecting to take out or control players. This story gets more unusual by the day. I'm incorporating a course of events attempting to understand where every one of the players remained at various dates. February 7, 2010, Yanukovych is equitably chosen the president of Ukraine. He is star Russia and as a matter of course, hostile to EU. January 18, 2011 A little efficient power vitality organization named Jewel Unlimited reported Podesta's arrangement to its board. Months after the fact, Rosnano, a Kremlin upheld venture subsidize established by Vladimir Putin, pumped $35 million into Jewel. Serving close by Podesta on Jewel's board were senior Russian authority Anatoly Chubai and oligarch Ruben Vardanyan who has been designated by Putin to a Russian monetary modernization chamber. 2012, Podesta working for Podesta Gathering. One of the biggest campaigning firms in D.C. January 24, 2013, Clinton ends up plainly debilitated and leaves. Clinton presented John Kerry before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, as hearings were hung on his selection to succeed her. November 21, 2013. Euromaidan, Ukraine shading upset, started the evening of November 21, 2013 with open descents in Maidan Nezilaznosti, Independence Square, in Kiev, requesting nearer European combination. The extent of the challenge is extended, with many requires the renunciation of President Viktor Yanukovych and his administration. The challenges prompted the 2014 Ukrainian unrest. Protests began with Nazis, Svoboda Party walking through the avenues with lights. This is suspected to be financed by Soros. December 13, 2013, as genius euro, against master Russia president, challenges keep on rocking Kiev, Senator McCain is flying there to indicate bolster, the most astounding positioning American authority yet do as such. He will talk with Svoboda pioneers on the phase in Maidan Square, the Nazi side. Svoboda's transparently star Nazi legislative issues have not dissuaded Senator John McCain from tending to an Euromaidan rally close by Tiny Bach, nor did it forestall Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland from getting a charge out of an amicable meeting with the Svoboda pioneer this February. December 14, 2013, John Podesta joins Obama's White House staff. 2013-14, Ukraine President Yanukovych, paid Manafort $17 million for counseling in 2013 and 2014. Podesta Bunch assisted with this battle and later recorded laid divulgences in 2017. Question mark A clearly pester telephone discussion in which a senior U.S. negotiator belittles the AU over the Ukraine emergency has been posted on the web. The charged discussion between Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland and the U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, Jeffrey Pyatt, showed up on YouTube on Thursday. It isn't plainly when the claimed discussion occurred. The U.S. says that it is working with all sides in the emergency to achieve a serene arrangement, 
taking note of that at last it is up to the Ukrainian individuals to choose their future. However this transcript proposes that the U.S. has clear thoughts regarding what the result ought to be and is endeavoring to accomplish these objectives. Russian representatives have demanded that the U.S. is interfering in Ukraine's issues, close to Moscow, the skeptic may state, yet Washington obviously has its own particular strategy. The reasonable reason in releasing this discussion is to humiliate Washington and for crowds vulnerable to Moscow's message to depict the U.S. as meddling in Ukraine's local undertakings. February 2014, Obama asked. Secretary of State, New Land Meets with Svoboda Pioneers. 2014, post-Ukraine Revolution, Manafort turned into the subject of a FBI examination that started in 2014. It fixated on work done by a gathering of Washington counseling firms for Ukraine's previous decision party, the sources told CNN. The observation was stopped sooner or later a year ago for absence of confirmation, as indicated by one of the sources. 2016, wiretaps of Manafort start again once he is chipping away at Trump's battle. 